This video series is on PLC networking basics using a control logic Plug an Ethernet cable into the ENVT card and port 1 of the wireless router. With the laptop also plugged into the wireless router for setup purposes, type the router's IP address into the laptop browser. Change the IP address in the wireless router setup screen to the same channel number used in the classroom laptops. In this example, 1.1. Make sure the mask value is the same in the wireless router as it is for the EMVT card and the classroom laptops. Remember, this is just for class setup. In an industrial environment, use the most secure industrial network security and protocols that you can. Next, we need to test communication via Wi-Fi on each of the student laptops. Open RSLogix 5000 on the student laptop. Click on the communications from the pull down menu, then select who active. Then click on the plus sign next to the icon for the ENVT Ethernet driver. Drill down the navigation by clicking on the plus sign next to the 1756-ENVT card icon, then the backplane or rack, then select the icon for Control Logic's processor. In this example, it's 1756-L1. The final step, click the Go Online button. And you should see it says Remote Run again. It says Run Mode, Controller OK, green light there. And then if you look at your ladder logic, if you've got some kind of activity going on, like our TOM timer on delay, it's preset for 1500. The accumulated amount is accumulating based on the ladder logic we wrote here little simple couple run program just to cycle the timer and continuously loop it. Success! You should now see gear spinning indicating you're online with processor 0 in the back plane of the IP address shown via the ENBT card. Please click to pause the video and answer the question.